In this video, I'm going to walk you through a command within PAC CLI called as PAC auth. Okay, so I'm in the command prompt uh, of Windows 11 operating system and I have run this command prompt in an administration mode. Okay, so now I can go into my desired directory. So I'll just type uh, Okay, so I'm in my desired directory. Pick up your desired directory and then you can start running those commands. So the prerequisite is to have the pack CLI installed, which I already have. So I'll run my pack command. So let me zoom this a bit. Okay, so if I type pack auth, okay, then it will uh, give me all the commands which are uh, a part of pack auth uh, command line. So uh, as you see over here, there is a different, a wide variety of commands which are available. So one is create. So if you see create, create, what it does is it creates and store authentication profiles on this computer. So before you run any command against uh, a dataverse, you need to create and store an authentication profile. Okay, a uh, list will list down the authentication profile which is already been created. Uh, select, it selects one particular authentication profile uh, through which you can run and uh, dataverse commands uh, delete is just deleting the authentication profile clearing is clearing the authentication profile stored on this computer so clear means it removes everything okay uh, all authentication profiles stored on this computer and name is renaming or naming an existing auth profile so I'll go through this command one by one. Okay, so first thing first, let's see what happens when I create pack auth create. Okay, so it will uh, check uh, and give you an authentication uh, prompt. And you can type, you can select your authentication profile details. Uh, and you can type in your password. So let me put my password. So this will authenticate uh, you and you just need to do the MFA. And once it is done, uh, it will uh, just take off that prompt and it will say, okay, this uh, connection is now successful. So what I have done is I have created an authentication profile. Okay. Now let me do an, another command pack or list. The moment I do this, it will list down all the authentication profile stored in my computer. Okay. So it has listed down all the authentication profile used in my computer. So I've just created one connection. Okay. Now, uh, as you see over here, there is a column called as index, active, kind, name, friendly name, URL, user, and cloud. Okay, so the name is blank currently. Okay, you can name this authentication profile. Okay, so uh, I'll just write down pack auth and say name. Okay, now first let's see what what all syntax. Uh, pack auth name supports so it says pack auth name dash dash index okay uh, so that means that uh, you need to have uh, you need to reference an index so the index number is one over here okay so let me scroll down a bit I'll say pack auth index sorry dash dash index pack auth name okay dash dash index and one okay and we need to give the name as well so what name we want so let let me put some name okay so let me put uh, my profile as the name okay and if i run this command <clears throat> now it it should technically name this okay so it has already been named this okay now uh, again, if I run this command pack auth list, then it will list down the all the profile which is stored in my computer and the name here you see the one which we renamed it. So it is called as my profile. 
okay so now we have seen the command of pack auth create we have seen the command pack auth list we have seen the command pack auth name okay let's see what all other commands are there so if i put pack auth then uh, you will see uh, there's we have seen create we have seen list we have seen uh, name okay and we can also update the name or target environment of an existing authentication profile okay now what does that mean okay so as you have seen here this is pointing to a default environment okay now if we want this to point to some different environment okay now uh, let me uh, go to an another command called as pack org okay and pack org list so to list down all the uh, environments within your uh, power platform environment okay so uh, so so there are four environment now this is the environment id of the default environment now if i select say girish dev okay so now let's let me copy this okay now i've just taken help of pack or command to demonstrate a pack auth update okay now if i say pack auth update okay let me see the syntax first okay so just type pack auth update and it will ask for index and uh, name and environment now i know the index is number one okay because uh, i've seen it in that list so pack auth update dash dash index number one and the the other part is you want to give the environment name so i'll give the environment name uh, or environment id or the url which i just copied and the name you want to give to this authentication profile now i can give the name as say uh, so girish work area something like that okay so it will persist this change okay and now if i do pack auth list okay. now it will give you the name as girish work area and the url is now changed okay now it is pointing to girish dev okay which is a different url than the one which was earlier which was a default environment so what essentially we have done is we have created an authentication profile which was pointing to a default environment then we made use of a command called as pack auth update which helped us point that default environment to some different environment but in order to find the different environments details we have made use of one more command called as pack org okay so pack org list which i'm going to cover in detail in my next video uh, it it lists down all the environments within your uh, tenant okay so this is how you uh, work on pack auth commands okay so let's see what all other things which we have not covered as of now so we have covered pack auth create we have covered pack auth list we have covered uh, update name okay so delete clear and select is missing okay so let's see uh, pack auth uh, list okay now if i have pack auth list now i can see uh, one environment which is pointing to girish dev okay let me again create an another uh, uh, profile okay so let's say pack auth create okay now what it should do it should create an authentication profile So once it is authenticated, it will connect to my default environment. Okay. Now, as you see here, now let me again run this command. So earlier there was just one entry. Now I have, I should have a couple of entries. Okay. So pointing to two different URLs. Okay. Now we have two indexes now. Now why we have created two profiles just to demonstrate uh, the command of selection. Okay. Now any command you run it will be run against the one which has a star marked against it so if i 
run say some command uh, it will always take a context of this default environment but what if i want to use my another profiles environment say girish dev so how do i change that star okay so if i do something called as pack auth select okay let's see the syntax of select okay so if i say pack auth select it will ask me for an index and the name okay now there are two uh, profiles okay so let me point to the first profile okay so i'll say pack auth select dash dash index now the index number is uh, which profile i want to be active i want index number one to be active and if i want to give any name okay to that one number one index uh let me let me see if i don't put any name okay if i just say i want index one to be active okay let's see if it works or not and as you see it it worked okay now if i run this command pack auth list okay so compare here earlier the number two index was active now what should happen is number one is active okay so this is how you make the uh, profile active now once the profile is active that means you can run any command against that particular environment okay so pack auth so now the uh, couple of command which is remaining is delete and clear so pack auth delete it deletes a particular authentication profile so let's assume if you do not want the second authentication profile okay so what i'm gonna do pack auth delete okay let's see the syntax okay so you just run the command pack auth delete and see the syntax uh, i can i know now pack auth delete slash slash index i don't want the index number two okay and now if i say pack auth list which lists list down all the authentication profile it will show me only one because the second profile is deleted okay so like this you can so if you have five uh, authentication profile you can delete one by one okay or what you can do there's an another command called as pack auth clear okay so if if i type this command pack auth clear then it will give you uh, after execution it tells you authentication profiles and token cache removed okay now if i do a pack auth list i will not see any profile so uh, in summary we have seen pack auth command uh, with a create command which creates a profile which is the first basic minimum step you need to create to profile you can create multiple profile pointing to different environment list list down all the authentication profile stored on this computer select will allow you to point or make an authentication profile active so that any command you run against it will take the context of that environment pack or delete will delete a particular authentication profile so it's uh, it will delete one at a time pack or clear will remove all the authentication profiles stored on this computer pack or name will allow you to name an authentication profile just for your references purposes okay pack auth update will update the target environment's authentication profile now if you want to update the name of that authentication profile you can use the update command so that's it folks thanks for watching uh, for uh, pack auth command uh, i will uh, take some more advanced topic in my next upcoming videos thank you